really is a bit like drawing with lipstick. Here's an update to this painting. I'm going to add in some extra detail. I've still got this beautiful fresh sprig of wattle that I just might improve upon this painting. And recently I purchased these Faber-Castell. Break them out, take out the two yellows and see if I can improve upon the painting. So these are a little bit like lipsticks. They're kind of like crayons, but they're um, water soluble. So I thought maybe, because this bit here in particular was bothering me, I'm going to squeeze it, roll it up a fair bit and see whether or not it might make the loveliest wattle blossom look. And it does. Look at that. Oh, that's looking way more like um, wattle. I can soften some of them if I want to. Uh, some of them come out to the side there, so I'm just... Oh, this is a way better way of doing the wattle. That's pretty funny. Uh, I might make one of them a little fuzzier. Oh, give them a little highlight. Nice. Oh, now I'm just wanting to use it everywhere because it's beautiful to use. Right, so that particular colour, does it tell me? Yes, limoncello. Oh, isn't that sweet? Uh, this one is banana. It's got hilarious names. I'm going to add a little bit of banana. Really, it's kind of raw sienna, but they're calling it banana. And I'm going to go over each of the little blooms that I've just added with banana. Or in real artist terms, raw sienna. Some would call it yellow ochre. Oh okay. gosh, they're incredibly easy to use. It really is a bit like drawing with lipstick. I'm going to go back to the first colour, the um, <laughs> limoncello. And just put in a few more little highlights. This is the perfect tool for doing what all. This is, oh, I've turned it into something much better. I'm going to add a few more. I'm just going to go nuts now that I've found something that is making my job so easy. Probably I've done all the hard work with putting down the beautiful background. And these little beauties are just coming in far more like wattle. I think it should come out into this space or this space. No, I, thought, I like that bit. I might make them come over. Might, some of the blooms are actually quite big, like they're nearly a centimetre in diameter. So I might, oh, that's the banana colour. This is limoncello. So I'll make it come into this space. It is quite similar, this limoncello. Um, for, it's good for adding the highlights, actually, when I put it together. It's somewhere between limoncello and banana. So using those probably went a bit together. over the top in there. Having said that, it would be really easy to get rid of it. So one way would be to get a, a brush with a bit of water and they'll soften because they're water soluble. But also, I can just use my finger. They, it feels like crayon that I'm touching. I'm just blending a little bit. It gets on your finger, but that's all right. Doesn't feel too bad. Just soften them. Make little soft bally shapes. This one's looking incredibly green because it's sitting on the blue. So I might add a little more right that's better so this pack from faber castell comes with a few tools so i might attempt to use i assume that brush is for uh, adding water and softening but what i'm wondering is whether or not it allows you to soften with the brush and so a little bit is coming off onto the brush i thought maybe i'll get a a lovely fluffy shape with the the brush not really 
it's not doing much. So I, I assume the brush is intended for adding water. Thank you for watching. Bye.